It's the entertainers. We're right back here in Newcastle. Did you like the World Cup? Did you watch the World Cup? If you didn't, no, no worries. It's a bonus episode. We're back to normality this week. Apart from, don't worry about that. I've got, I've got Platts in today. Just ignore it. Has things been going well here? They've been going really well. Have a look at this. We'll talk about that. Welcome back. Love it. Yes, so we'll talk about that 6-6 in a minute because it did happen, it was strange, and it was horrible for some people in France, Bordeaux. Anyway, first things to note, we're still top of the league. We have lost a match though. Let's talk about that. Guess who it is to? Oh yes, of course it's to second place Man United because of course we'd lose to them and nobody else. Last time we met was um, before the World Cup. It was the Chelsea and then Vitoro um, match. And we had a great time, didn't we? We all loved it. Um, we, we won both those matches. We continued winning. A 5-1 win over Aston Villa. A 5-1 win over Basel. A 5-3 away win over Liverpool, which was just really good. Really, really good. We won 1-0 down. I thought, oh, jeez, here we go. I thought, oh, jeez. Um, but no, no, oh, jeez. We, we carried on. We just did well. We scored five goals. Um, for four matches in a row, uh, then we went one better and scored six in, yeah. So, we were already through and top of the group. Um, so, why this happened? Well, I know exactly why this happened. Because Bordeaux, the, Vittorio beat Basel in the last game. Which means if Bordeaux had won this match, they would have gone through to the knockout rounds. Unfortunately, Pietro Pellegri doesn't like losing. He especially doesn't like conceding four goals before half-time and then scoring one back. But still, he doesn't like being 4-0 down at any point in the game. So we decided to take them all the way. Look, I'm not even joking. If they had won that game, they would have, be, they would have been in the next round. Goal difference and everything would have been great. Unbelievable, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we, we didn't lose uh, in that. And then we lost 1-0 to Man United. Did we play badly? The strikers did. Um, did they play badly? Nobody really played that well, apart from David De Gea, who was phenomenal and got an 8.3. So that's why we lost 1-0 to Man United away. It does mean we are still top of the table. They have a game in hand on us, but they can't catch us even if they win that just yet. So we've got to just keep on our game, keep winning. And that is, starts today with Arsenal at home. Um, also, I'm very nervous because we have, as you just saw there, um, no money um, in the bank at all. Wow. Uh, we, we do have a plan, um, and that is that I've told uh, whoever the Tottenham manager is at the minute to recall Julian Draxler from his loan in January, and they've agreed. So in January, we'll get this wage back because we're not playing Julian Draxler. He's not... He's, he's, yeah, he's, even the games he's come on, he's not done very well. So he'll be going back uh, to where he came from, Tottenham, and we'll be getting the money back for him. The other thing that I'm very worried about is Leon Bailey. Um, I said in the World Cup video, he's one of the best players in the world form-wise at the minute. You could see uh, the five stars ability um, on b both current and potential. Um, he's yeah, he's got more assists than games. Uh, it's pretty fucking scary. If you look down here, you could see fourteen games plus seven of some appearances so 21 overall and 23 assists five goals it's it's just insane really from leon so yeah you may ask why that worries me uh because oh it's only man united now before the world cup there was like real madrid there were people were queuing up to try and buy leon bailey um and my worry is that they will because of his release clause which is 95 million pounds a 7.7 percent of our club's wage bill but he's just that good that it's fine that he is that. Just don't worry about it. So hopefully nobody tries to pinch him because at the minute the board are only going to give us 50% of any money we make from sales. So if we sold him for £95 million, we would not get a suitable replacement who could help us win the league. And of course, when I say it's a 4-4-2 Newcastle entertainers and we're top of the league at Christmas, who, who else would be second and chasing us down at Man United? Oh, starting to glitch into Keegan mode now. Starting to glitch into Keegan mode in the second half of the season. I might, I might have to do the speech. I might have to do it. 
I've got big headphones. Just just wait and see. For now though, stop waiting because let's go play Arsenal. Oh, I've got to sort the team out. I forgot about that. Um, do the opposite instructions because Sean Longstaff, in case you didn't know, got injured in the World Cup semi-final where he was a hero, a national hero. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to sort the team out very quickly. I'll see you here in a second. Did you use your few seconds wisely? I hope you did. Um, here's the team that we're going with today. It's a pretty set 11, but you may notice there's a few little changes. I'll explain those as we go along. Uh, Dominic Livakovic starts in goal. Um, he's pretty happy to be back from Croatian duty because he can see a lot there. Um, Owen, Badia Shield, Ufa Makano and Aaron's the, the setback four are in front of him today. And they have got lovely lines that mean they like people and each other. Lovely to see that Badia Shield and Ufa Makano are getting along. Um, <laughs> Bailey starts on the right. Camera finger in the playmaking role. Thorsby, even though he's got a slight knock still, he's capable. He's fine, honestly. And if he's not fine, then we can bring Ayer on. Move Kamavinga. It's fine. We'll figure it out as we go. ASM's on the left. Up front, we've got Belotti and Adeyemi. What's he doing playing in a Premier League game? Callum Wilson's on the bench. Adeyemi, I promise some more game time because he, he wants it. And X can give it to you. Something like that. I don't know. Everybody's struggling for fitness because everybody's been away on international duty and apparently we haven't been doing training. We've been doing training. Why are you all... Because there's no being, not any being, not no being any games. That's what I said there. No being any games. There hasn't been any games. That's no excuse for me doing no be any games. I'm just waffling on now. Um, Arsenal like to play a three at the back system, um, and they've got Giovanni Reina and Thomas Partey in midfield and Aspiri Quetas. It's it's a confusing time. Um, let's just go forward and pump the fists. Oh, we are Arsenal. Yes, we love owing people things. Apparently, let's just pump the fist and give the faith. And well, it's been a little while since I've actually played any Newcastle games, uh, so hopefully we're not rusty. And I'm talking about myself and them. Um, here is the three at the back system. Told you it's strange, but it works. Calvert Lewin, um, also another World Cup hero, we've just seen. If you watch that episode, if you didn't watch the World Cup episode, spoiler: England win the World Cup. So Calvert Lewin and Sean Longstaff are both World Cup hit national heroes. And so that's what happened. Beat Brazil in the final, extra time goal. It was like Iniesta scoring in, in, in Spanish World Cup final. It was Phil Foden instead. Um, it was really nice. Anyway, we're here now. Game time, long throw. Is it Leon? Leon, is it time? Are we back? Are we back to normal? Leon Bailey, long throw into the box. Adeyemi pops it in. And that's another assist for Leon Bailey. So Adiyem is asking for more game time, so I'm very happy to see him score, especially against Arsenal, um, who do tend to be very hit or miss when we play them. It's either the three at the back causes us all sorts of issues, or they abs they just fall apart. Hopefully today's one of the days where they fall apart completely, because that would be just great for us and our title charge, which is now official, because if you're top at Christmas, it means you're officially involved in the title race. Oh, it's scary stuff. Um, let's encourage everybody, or praise, let's praise everybody for now. It's another high, it's another throw in, it's Owen to ASM. Owen gets it back to Thorsby in the middle, who is fit, he's fine, honestly. Kamavinga into ASM again, are you going to dribble? No, just back to Kamavinga, to Uf Meccano, playing it around nicely at the back and going forward now. Bailey's got an option out the right, but he's going to dribble himself, gives it into Adi he's got that pace and that left foot, and he doesn't get a shot away. It's a corner, it's a good challenge by, I think, two Arsenal centre-backs there. And well, I don't think the corner's going to come to anything, but here it is anyway. Didn't come to anything, did it? This is a corner straight away, so this might actually come to something. As uh, well, it was uh, Bailey whips it in, he gets it back again, so he takes all the throw ins and all the corners. Yes, that's how he does get a lot of assists. He goes for a shot this time, though, and uh, Bert Leno just has to just parry it wide. Um, Leon Bailey will run across now and take the other corner from the other side. He's basically playing on his own at this point, um, so. God, if he gets injured, we are ruined. Ruined. No, we're not. Miguel Almiron's fine. It'll do a good job. ASM, do you want to do anything today? No, ASM doesn't feel like it today. Um, I think he's probably a bit annoyed that he didn't get picked for France. It's a throw in for Arsenal this time. Bellerin gets it to Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin to Reyna. Reyna looking for an option now. And he does get a ball in. Owen clears. And Belotti's going to get to that. Belotti has got a lot of work to do from there. Can he do it? He pops it into Camavinga. And he's got an eye for a pass, as we know, because he's our player. Okay, no, just. 
just ruin what I said, Kamavinga, and play a terrible pass. But so do they, and ASM and Rayner are going in for a 50-50. ASM comes out the better, and he's running down that left-hand side now, using his pace and his dribbling, and he comes back inside, and he's still got Rayner with him. Kamavinga goes for a long shot, and I, we haven't seen any real Kamavinga goals, I don't think. I don't remember seeing Kamavinga score at all. So that was, wow, nearly something. It wasn't, though, so... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still only 1-0 as uh, Arsenal come forward. Edouard goes through the challenge and gives it back to Better on the right-hand side. He does get a ball into Nelson, who hammers that header home. And we need to fire up these boys. I gave them, I, I praised them too quickly. I said, well done, lads. 1-0. And they went, ah, let's take a foot off the gas. No, do not take your foot off the gas, especially on a motorway. That's a proverb from me. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Reese Nelson scored. So, bollocks. It's another highlight. Arsenal are coming forward against Azpilicueta, who is challenged but keeps going. Upper Meccano needs to get a better challenge than that. And here comes Giovanni Reina into Thomas. It was Thomas Partey. Gives it to Thorsby, though. And Adi Yemi now has got Bellotti ahead of him. Can he find the ball? He does find the ball. Bellotti, can you find the finish? No, it's another great challenge by the Arsenal centre backs. All three of them trying to wrestle Bellotti to the ground. Um, ASM having a bit of a poor game at the minute. And maybe that's something to look out for. Half time now, still 1 1. Um, XG wise, we've had the better of it, but they have got a goal. And. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, I'm not happy. So, I've not said that that much this season, um, apart from the main night game. So, we can't lose any momentum now. ASM and Upper Meccano are the ones to watch for potential substitutes because they're not having the best of games. Ad Adiemi's having a lovely time out there. He's proven himself well, as Leon Bailey, as always, doing his thing. Let's just start the second half as we finish the first, but just demand some more from them. See if we can get that in the second half. Um, first highlight of the second half now, and Arsenal have a throw in. Nelson into Reyna. I've gone a bit more attacking. I don't know if it's taken effect as of yet, but Arsenal are playing it well, and just sort that out, Livakovic. Cheers, mate. Um, it's going to come back at us, though, very quickly as a Bamiyang. Plays it into Calvert-Lewin. He's got past the tackle of Owen. Don't lose two in a row. It's been a month since we lost the game. And I know it was the last game. But can we not? I'm sorry for sliding the desk. Because I know that sounds awful. But I don't want to lose. Not another game. Not to 10th place Arsenal. All right then. What is happening? Is this a highlight? Leon Bailey long throw. So he scored the first goal. Uh, this time Leno's caught that. And that's not what we want. We don't seem to be creating anything today, which is a real shame. Thorsby to Badia Shield to Owen towards Leon Bailey, but it's a really poor pass. Why are you playing a ball like that? It's mm, that just means they can come forward now. They're three at the back system. calvert has got Bellerin over, and we know what sort of talent he has to get the ball into the box from the byline. Owen tackles him, though, and now maybe can we counter? ASM, do something with your life. Um, he's on a 6.3. If this doesn't result in a goal in him, don't shoot ASM. Thank you. Gives it to Bellotti. Bellotti goes out wide. Can we get a ball to Kamavinga, who does have a go this time? And Kamavinga has had two chances now. And both of them have been terrible uh, finishes. As we look now, what short changes? The back line is playing poorly. ASM is having an absolute shocker. So he's coming off. Uh, Serrano comes on. The other change, Pellegri comes on for Bellotti. He's in a goal-scoring mood, and other than that, I don't really... Mm, the options aren't really there, so we're going to leave it at those two changes for now. Go back out there. We're playing a bit more attacking. Don't... Oh, it's a throw-in for Arsenal. Owen with a challenge. I'm sorry. Are we going to VAR for that bullshit? Are we... Referee? So we're just waiting on uh, VAR to tell us that's not a penalty. And if it is, oh, the fury. The fury will be furious. It's not a penalty, is it, ref? It's not a penalty. Thank you. It's a free kick, though, apparently. So that's, that's annoying still. Uh, they play it short. They play it shorter. They It's gone back out. Pellegrini, you can get there, mate. He doesn't get there. Okay. Um, Upa Meccano, free kick. 20 minutes to go. Still attacking. Kamavinga gives it to Thorsby. Thorsby, ball out to Aaron's is brilliant. Aaron's, get that across the box, mate. Into Serrano. Serrano, oh, it's so close from Serrano. But that is the intent I want to see from him. As we've got 15 minutes to go, we're going to go very attacking. 
and demand more again as Arsenal have another free kick. Let's not let them make it three. Calvert-Lewin, we know, is a danger man. Owen with a challenge this time. Bellerin coming around. That right-hand side seems to be where everything is coming from. Calvert-Lewin and Bellerin. Aubameyang, though, this out to Nelson. Nelson just seems to be trying to apply the final touch to everything. As he's gone down, Aubameyang, and he's... Can they stop this? They just seem to be falling over. And don't you dare give them a foul. Don't you dare, referee. We've just been through this. You've seen it before. You saw it a minute ago. It's the same thing. It's no penalty. If you uh, can't believe this. Arsenal just falling up. It's a penalty. I'm sorry. Okay. So. Undeserved, Arsenal. Undeserved. Absolute horseshit. This this game is. Skip that bollocks. This is this is absolute shit, really. A wide target man, an inside forward and an advance forward are ripping us to pieces. And we've got nothing. Our players are exhausted. They've all been to the World Cup. That's my excuse for now. What can we do to stop this? Because so far we've been we created nothing. And it's really quite infuriating as they just go round Owen again. Thomas into Reece. it's 4-1. And the very attacking has come back to bite us as we're going to have to go back to attacking now because we are getting absolutely smashed. Nobody's creating anything. Livakovic and the whole back four have fallen to pieces in a month. Are we going to get a consolation? Are we? No, Bert Leno's going to catch it. Ugh. Don't stop now. We started the season so well. One loss to Man United, and we've fallen apart. Bailey with a shot. He scored an absolute blinder. Thank you, Leon, for just carrying this team on your back. Still four minutes to go. Um, I don't think comeback's on, but Leon Bailey is trying to do it on his own. The rest of the team aren't helping him, and it's very annoying. But that is a wonderful finish, Leon Bailey, from like 25, 30 yards out. Absolutely smashed that into the top corner. Yeah, the time is whittling away, and I think that will be it. Not good enough today. Not good enough at all. At home, 4-2 loss. Um, thrash the arms. You were not good enough today. That was awful. And, yeah. Other than the first goal, Adeyemi hasn't shown much there. And ASM's shown. He doesn't want to start, does he? Man United won 1-0 one, one as well, which means they can now overtake us. If they win their game in hand. Oh boy. Well, for now, that's annoyed me so much I don't want to do the next game. So, it's an FA Cup match. Who gives a shit about the FA Cup? We've already won it. Look at this. Look how many games we won, and then all of a sudden, a 6 6 draw and two defeats in a row. We need to get back to winning, winning ways in uh, January. So, the next time we will meet will be the 1st of February if there's been any transfer business, which I really hope there hasn't, um, then I will let you know about that. Until then, though, like, favourite, subscribe. Favourite isn't an option anymore, but I'll see you back next time for more entertainers.